Hey everybody, I am your Dungeon Master Dad, and I do want you to master your dungeon. So today we're talking about another homebrew rule that I use. I really like the hit point system that D&D 5e has. Uh, however, there is a little bit of an issue of, it seems, uh, some people complain about it being unrealistic. These characters... Uh, go through all these battles, uh, lose all these hit points, and yet there's no, you know, lasting damage or anything until they get down to zero. So in addition to using injury tables when my, uh, play, when my characters recover from zero hit points, uh, I also have uh, something called a massive damage table. Each character has a massive damage threshold that... If they take damage in one hit that is above that threshold, they have to roll on this massive damage table. So the massive damage threshold that I happen to use is their strength score, not the modifier, but the score, plus their constitution times their level. So if they're uh, level 3 and they have two constitu plus 2 to constitution... Uh, then that's 6, and if their strength is 10, that's 16. So they can take uh, 16 damage in one hit and not have a problem. Anything in excess of the massive damage threshold, uh, they would then have to roll if they took 17 damage in one hit. So you can see, even with higher level characters, say at level 5, when you have upwards of 50 hit points... Even if you have a fighter who has 16 strength at level 5, and let's say he's got 14 constitution, so he's got plus 2 to constitution. Uh, so that's uh, 10 plus 16, 26 damage is his massive damage threshold. Even though, as a fighter with that much constitution, he's got 60 plus hit points. So if he takes 26, uh, well... 26 would be his threshold, so if he takes 27 damage in one hit, not one round or anything, but one single hit is 27 points of damage, he's going to have to roll on the massive damage chart. Uh, in low levels, 
This doesn't really make a difference. If you take massive damage, most of the time you're dropped to zero at level one. Uh, at second level, it's like more than half your hit points is generally what it works out to be. But it makes it where at higher levels, there's still stakes. If you take a really big hit, bad things can happen. So what happens when you take massive damage? Well, Again, I just, this, this whole game is about rolling d20s, so all my tables, I like to have uh, d20s. If you roll a 1 after taking massive damage, that's instant death. No save, nothing, that's just instant death. So if you take 27 and you roll that natural 1, well your character dies. I run a deadly game. I like this. Puts a lot of, I mean, at any point, any... Any character could be instantly killed if they take over their massive damage threshold and then roll a natural one. And that's just how the dice work. My players know this, they accept this, they know how to make new characters. Uh, if you roll a two on it, you drop to zero hit points. If you roll a three, you drop all the way down to one hit point. If you roll a 4, you roll on the injury table and gain an injury. Roll a 5, you're incapacitated for 1d4 rounds. Roll a 6, blinded for 1d4 rounds. 7, incapacitated for just one round. 8, blinded for one round. 9, restrained for 1d4 rounds. 10, that's a mortal blow. That means you have disadvantage on your death, death saving throws for 24 hours. And there's no way to remove that mortal blow. You just have to not roll any death saving throws for 24 hours. Uh, on an 11 to 13, you are frightened of whatever dealt you that damage. On a 14 to 19, you are simply just knocked prone and here's one of the reasons why this is a fun mechanic. Because if you take massive damage and roll a natural 20 on your massive damage roll, that's an epic recovery. You get uh, to roll a hit dice and add your constitution modifier and gain that many hit points. And an epic recovery, uh, it can give you temporary hit points above and beyond your maximum. So if you're at maximum... Uh, oh, and that natural 20 negates the damage. So if you take 27 damage, and then, uh, because you're, in my example, the massive damage threshold was 26. You take 27 damage and roll for your massive damage, and you roll a natural 20, the 27 damage that you took is negated, you're at full, and you roll your hit dice and add your constitution and gain that many temporary hit points. Uh, so you could just, like movie style, soak up a really severe hit and like a pro wrestler just stand up and, you know, start shaking, do the whole Hulk Hogan comeback thing or whatever, uh, all the tropes. And so this is a... This is a house rule that I use and implement to put more, uh, to raise the stakes in my games and to make death always a potential possibility. It's just another thing that, that I do. And so I wanted to share it with you. This is another part of the master's method. Uh, I if, if you think it's cool, tinker with it, use it, change it. Uh, if you don't, don't use it. You know, just make sure if you're going to use it, uh, talk with your players about it. Explain it fully. Explain why it might be fun. Uh, have a test run. Say it, we can use it for one combat session and if it turns out that it's not something y'all want to do, we can you know drop it and not use it in, in the future, that sort of thing. So long as you're open and honest with your players, then it shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, I have been your Dungeon Master Dad. And I do want you to master your dungeon. Guys, ah, guys, ah, guys, um, ah, guys, 
Ah, where are they? Where are they? Ah. Fireball! Fireball! Well, Neo, don't you think that's a bit harsh? I know just the spell. Not. Like, what have you done? Ah, uh, gross. Give me my body back. Like, give me my body back. Never. Your friends will like totally never suspect your certain and inevitable betrayal now. <laughs> Uh, by the way, guys, if you could uh, subscribe to the channel, go ahead, uh, hit that like button, leave a comment down below about what you think of my videos, and uh, especially what you think of my production skills now that I'm playing around with all this uh, green screen stuff and, and the acting. I've got some uh, costumes coming. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just absolutely silly. I'm having a blast doing this, but please leave your comments below, like, subscribe, do all that jazz. Uh, if you really want to support what I'm doing, <laughs> then check out my, the link to my Patreon and, and maybe shoot a couple bucks my way, uh, since I don't have uh, a current employment right now, I'm trying uh, this nonsense out. Uh, but I love doing it regardless, so thank you very much for your time. Again, most importantly, I would love your comments and tell a friend about uh, about my videos. Uh, send send a link somewhere. Maybe you know, post tell tell your D and D group. Uh, hey, there's this uh, weird guy making weird D and D videos. Uh, they they might get a kick out of it. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, and y'all stay safe out there.